Greetings kiddos! As we end the school year, we are going to end our nutrition news video series at Shepherd's Farm where they grow asparagus. This is one of my favorite times of year because it starts the beginning of New Jersey's harvest season. Asparagus grows from April or the middle of April into June, which is perfect as we end our school year. You just you see constantly across the field, they're just trying to push up and all, all through this, it would elongate out, but they would become growing points on the head that would, as it stretches out, like here you're seeing the petals as, as it stretches out, it would start to then split off after it got a certain height and it would just keep doing that until it's, our, I would say our fern ends up being yeah, my height. Um, there's some varieties that may get even taller than that. Of asparagus? So that's the fern, that's the fern stage. But so, oh, okay. so you're eating, you're eating the uh, premature young stalk of the fern. Oh, <laughs> I did not know that. Agriculture is New Jersey's third largest industry. This is a bit surprising because we are the most densely populated state. We are the second largest producer of blueberries. We are the third largest producer of cranberries. And we are the fourth largest producer of green bell peppers and peaches. What you're gonna look for is, is probably a nine inch spear here. So uh, they have their harvest knives and they'll go along. And as I say, they'll, they'll harvest the asparagus by cutting down into the ground. And you can see the holes that are left because we're, we're harvesting every day. They, were, they had already harvested here. This is the first spot they start in the morning. Okay. And already there are some spears that this is this isn't too far away. This this is going to get a another you know a few inches on it, and it's going to be harvested tomorrow. Abraham Browning, a politician and owner of Cherry Hill Farm, is given credit for nicknaming New Jersey the Garden State. Browning describes New Jersey as an open barrel filled with good things to eat, and it's open on both ends, with Pennsylvania taking from one side and New York taking from the other. Can you explain how the old fashioned process works? So let's get closer to the line okay. and I'll take it step by step as to what's going on. I'm so excited. The question was about the old fashioned way of, of grading. So this is not much different than how it was done years and years ago. I mean, okay. uh, it's coming in from the field right okay. down here to our right. They're placing it on the line. It's going through, you see several rinse stations but as it moves along what they're doing on this side is they're always pulling out the thickest asparagus so this person's looking for the thickest this person's looking for every person's looking for the thickest asparagus and what that does by nature is make it to where your thickest coats are going to be here and as we move on down you can see we're starting to get just just a little thinner the asparagus right out back was just harvested. It's going through the process, it's being put in a, a package. We have orders, stuff's going out the door. I mean, this could be some of the asparagus you're buying tomorrow on the grocery store chain. Oh my gosh, They're harvested you know, that, that fast. So same thing from the field. They're applying it on the line. It's getting a high pressure wash and a rinse. And as opposed to over there where you're kind of grabbing clumps this year, your goal is to attempt to get one spear in a cup. Okay. And then, as opposed to thinking about, well, what grade is it, we run a computer program. So there's a high-def video camera in the top of this that's looking down at the spears. We run it against a program. We, we put in the specifics. We say this diameter, this length, this head structure. It runs what it's seen from the video camera through the program, and that determines where it's being dropped down the way. We could say, uh, you know, this thickness of this length drop here, and the other thing that says this length drop here, and it'll it'll 
fill up a cup to a, a weight standard. It's not weighing it like a scale, it's weighing it volumetrically. So the camera is looking at the diameter and it's applying what that should weigh. The thick asparagus we're putting, the red band, the medium green we're putting the purple, and then the thin, uh, down at the end we can put some red on again. And that's just so that you don't get confused on the belt since the various sizes are here again. Okay. We wouldn't want to be like, Which one? when it gets down to the end you want to be like, well, well what is it? You know, th this is kind of very visual, but there's, there's times of the day where they get so, so close together, but technically if you were to get out calipers and measure them, this is an extra large. Or... I see. New Jersey is the fourth largest grower of asparagus in the country. We have 1,500 acres devoted to asparagus harvesting, and that produces 5 million pounds of asparagus each year. We're, we're, we're tallying, we're doing check weights. So, oh, to make sure everyone gets the same. Like the these are quite the, the tally sheet. We also have an electronic system. Everybody has a electronic badge and we can apply the numbers. So she'll add it up at the end of the day and be able to apply the numbers to their, their badge. To Jersey, for as small as a state we are, we're up there in the nation as far as production of asparagus. Uh, I would say three quarters of our output probably stays in the tri-state area. Okay, tri-state, okay. Uh, there's there's that, still that local demand for it. That, and we're very appreciative of that. Asparagus is a labor of love, but it also gives us quite the nutrition profile. It is a nutrient dense food. We've used this term before in previous editions of the Nutrition News, but what we're trying to say is for a small amount of calories, we are getting quite the boost of nutrition. Asparagus contains vitamin K. It also has folic acid, potassium, vitamin A, and is filled with antioxidants. So we always talk about vitamins and what they do for our health when we talk about all different types of produce. But let's talk about what is a vitamin. Vitamins can help our vision, keep our bones strong, heal wounds, and even give us energy. Vitamins are either what we call water soluble or fat soluble. Water soluble vitamins, as they sound, they absorb in fluid in our bodies and we can't store them for later use. Vitamins B and C. Then we have fat soluble vitamins, also as it sounds, they get absorbed through fat, but different from water soluble vitamins, we can store them up to six months in our bodies. And they are vitamins A, D, E, and K. But asparagus, right, we are at an asparagus farm, is known for vitamin K. Vitamin K helps us with blood clotting, but it is also part of bone health. When we think of bones, we think of calcium and vitamin D. This is true. Our bones are made of calcium and vitamin D helps us absorb the calcium. But then we have vitamin K. Vitamin K helps us synthesize proteins that then help with bone formation and mineralization. This process helps us form bones stronger, keep our bones stronger in our body. Well, kiddos, I hope you enjoyed Pomptonian's Nutrition News video series this school year. Stay tuned. I have so much more to teach you next school year. Thank you for watching.